Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to another main channel video. That's right, a main channel video. Uh, I didn't really have much to do, so I decided what does well, a mukbang. Combine that with Talia. Hi. And we got a popper. <laughs> so, a lot of people in my stream were telling me that there's a, there's a KFC Pizza Hut pizza. That was a weird sentence. That was not the best way to say it. Go on then. A Pizza Hut pizza. No, I didn't like it. That's it's, just a normal Pizza Hut it's, pizza. It's a, it's a pizza. I don't know. You've been right. It's, it's a, a pizza it's from Pizza Hut that has KFC involved in it. So it's yeah. got like popcorn chicken. So we've ordered from Pizza Hut. We've ordered from KFC. This big pizza here is the main focus. We're just going to see if we like it. I feel like you're not going to like it. Yeah, I also feel like I'm not going to like it. This is the mukbang. You know, what is I this? I ordered onion rings. That's cold. Oh, ice cream. Oh, it's ice cream. Are right, you ready for this? Big reveal. Oh, oh, that has been absolutely... That crazy. has been obliterated. That has been... Look at that! Is there no tomato? I think it's KFC oh, it's gravy, gravy sauce. There's, there's a very high chance this is gross. Look at this pizza, though. That's sad. That is sad. All right, well, grab yourself a slice. You just say a prayer. Yeah, well, the pizza's, you know... Cheers. I'm already upset. I mean, it's not bad. I just don't think there's much to it. Let's talk us through your mind. I just would never in a million years, if someone, if I had, was blindfolded, I would not have been able to tell you that I was taking a bite out of a pizza. I mean, I think I would have been able to feel that it was a slice of pizza. Someone else is holding it. Ugh, germs, COVID. <laughs> I don't I'm not like allowed to eat a lot. I'm going to eat a lot here. You don't want any more, do you? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this was the, this was the main focus, no. so. That's good to know. Hello, you want some KFC? Oh, this is tempting. No, you're healthy. KFC pizza? Uh, yeah, go on. Wait, get, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what? KFC pizza? That's not, that's pizza. Yeah, but it's KFC, KFC pizza. KFC gravy. Look, this is the popcorn chicken, chicken with gravy. It came kind of destroyed. Yeah, we didn't do oh, that. Oh, and we didn't just get really excited. Quite thin. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we both the exact same face. It's like we both went. It is. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just it. It's just there. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna go as far to say, by the way, that KFC gravy is the best fast food item of all time. Whoa. Yeah, but if you get rid of all the other items, there's nothing to dip in the KFC gravy. You're saying it like I won't drink it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You sound I like you're challenging. You sound like no, you're. No, it's not a challenge. That sounds like a challenge. No, it's not. I, I actually revoke my statement completely. You don't think I will? No, I absolutely think you will, which is why I'm saying I revoked my statement. Don't do it. Oh, Simon. I've always said that I could drink this. Did you enjoy it? I've proven it. I could easily have another okay, sip. Okay, that's not though, that's... Okay. That's <laughs> okay, so we got some chicken pieces here. We got some more chicken pieces here. Chips and gravy oh. from KFC. You should try a popcorn chicken piece in there. So I did ask on uh, Insta for some questions because I feel like I don't know what you talk about on mm -hmm. mukbangs. Well. Even though we've done about eight of them on the Simon channel. I've never done one. You've never done a mukbang? Well, no, it's a lie. I have done one, but never made it to yeah. YouTube because I choked in the middle of it. <laughs> you choked in the middle of I've a mukbang? I choked on, the, on a, bait of a, a bite of a um, mukmuffin. <laughs> <laughs> But like really aggressively to the point where like tears were streaming. I probably have a footage somewhere. Tears are like streaming down my face and I couldn't bring myself to eat anymore. And also by that point, I was like, I can't finish the video because my whole face is ruined. So I was like, I'm just not gonna upload this. Pepsi Max or Coke? Coke, Pepsi Max is Pepsi. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> Pepsi Max. Pepsi is like Monopoly money. It's good for nothing. And then Coke is the real money. You're hurting me with every word. <laughs> we got some. That's a brownie. That's a brownie. We'll put the brownie with the sad ice cream. Okay. Huh. Jalapeno poppers? Um, yeah. Mm. And the last one. I love jalapeno poppers. What else do we get? Onion rings. Oh. Ooh. Mm. They look kind of interesting. I'm just going to put them on top of the pizza because I feel like neither of us really want that pizza. Much. Mm. It wasn't great. Nice built. Well, I actually, as I said, I have some questions. Mm. So, um, I'm not going to ask the question. I just want to know, what is the ick? Wait, what is it? Is someone asked you that or are you asking me? Someone said, has Simon ever given you the ick? 
Okay, so the if ick... If he has, then spill, girl. The ick is basically like when someone does something that makes you like... Chicken, I forgot about this. Sorry, carry on. That's right. It makes you weirdly <laughs> like, not unattractive to them, but just like, it cringe inside almost. Oh, but... so this is the opposite. I thought the ick was like a lady boner. No, no, it's the opposite. Oh. Like, but it's things that shouldn't. So like, you know, if like a guy is walking down the street with an umbrella and it turns inside out. Yeah. That gives me the ick. Cause I'm like, and I don't know why, because it happens to me all the time. It happens to me all the time. But it's things like that. That's like, why did I find that uncomfortable to watch? And like, so it, maybe less but is it a sexual you. thing? No, it's, it's to make you less attractive. Yeah, yeah, but as in like, it's that, just that rude. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I find, I find you awkward. It's like, no, no, it's just like, that yeah, that makes me off you, you. Yeah, it's a turn off essentially. Mad. Yeah. So like some people say like um, odd socks or things like that, or it gives, are you all right there? What is that? Chicken. Oh, I don't think so. Has Simon ever given you the ick? No. I can't think of what, your dinosaur noise. It's a very good dinosaur that note. Was, <laughs> that gives me the ick. Well, then that's it. <laughs> I think I could play, I could play a lot of mythical creatures. Gollum, mm -hmm. a dinosaur. They all give me the ick. Gollum gives you the ick? Yeah. See, in my head, I still hear ick as a sexual thing, mm -hmm. but a good sexual. So like, think of an ick that like, do you have any icks for girls? Like things that girls might do that you're like, if a girl does that, it just turns me off. I don't think so. I think I'm, I think I'm just, Pretty sexually acceptable. <laughs> like if, if someone cuts their cross off of their sandwich. That gives you the ick? Yeah. How? Because How is that in any- Are you a child? But that doesn't, crust? that doesn't like, that in no way changes anything. No, but that's the whole point. That's weird. Like I date someone that cut the crust off of their, what's it called? Sandwich, but I look at that and I think, are you a child? Like that turns me off if you cut your cross off. That's so weird. I know, but that's what the ick is. That was a good question. And remember there was a video that went viral and it was like, oh, this is, you know, this girls is getting the ick, etc." I was mm. like, I never understood what it meant, oh, but yeah. I never wanted to ask. And now oh. I have. There you go. In well, front of a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, next question. Would I pick Talia's nose for 500 pounds? Yes. Yeah. That's a bit fun sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you do try and stick your finger up my nose multiple times a day. Obviously, we play this. We play Super Seducer together. Mm -hmm. There's a question from Sam Bavi. Mm -hmm. Says, "Would you appear on Super Seducer no. as a couple?" No. 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 You could not pay me to be on that. Really? Mm -mm. What? So if I gave you ten billion pounds no. to be in an episode? I think he promotes some really bad. Ten things. billion pounds to be in an episode. I don't agree with something. I don't agree with that. If you don't agree not with really. something, okay. No money could make you do it. So here's I ten million so. pounds. You have to always cut the crust. Of your sandwiches. That's not morally wrong. Uh, I mean, you say it makes you a new child. <laughs> yeah, but morally, there's no, there's no, comp like, there's no moral compass there. For me, it's, it's like if I think that something is promoting something bad, or that's morally wrong, I wouldn't. No, I what if you're like a there. background extra? Ooh. Like he's chatting up a girl over there in a club. You're in the background. And you're just like, I don't want to be in that game. Ten billion pounds. No. You could take that 10 billion, buy out his company, and make it never happen again. Oh, Boom, lawyer. So my name is that was smart. associated with it. I don't remember. You know what? Your name's not even in it. You just did that. Stop forcing me to be a super producer! <laughs> Look, I just want to live out my dreams, all right? Now that it's not in a weird country. <laughs> you can go do it. I got offered. Got again? offered to be in. No, I'm dead in that. In I was going to say, yeah, that's really killed you. He asked me to be in Super Seducer 2, but he said it's, you know, he'll pay for my flights to a random country. I did not want to go there. Mm. So then I said no. Uh, so he ended up killing me in Super Seducer 2. He mm. dropped a bomb that kills various YouTubers, including me. So then everyone was like, oh, put Simon in the third one. And he said, sorry, Minimint is dead in the Super, Super Seducer universe. He is. You got your cameo without having to be in it. Yeah. You know, my name got said. Does Simon's wood actually bend left? I don't know where that's ever come from. That was said in the Tinder video, but about Philly. So I don't know where that's come from about me. Okay, I'm glad you read that out. I don't think it is big enough to bend. <laughs> <laughs> What's it you say that? Do you think monogamy is dying? We just went straight, you know, deep questions. No. That's conjoined. Look at that. It is. <laughs> Sorry, that was a serious question, and we just went for that. <laughs> no. I don't know where that's come from. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably easier now to not be monogamous because of like social media. When you're saying not monogamous, do you mean cheating or do you mean not Both. monogamous? Polyamorous and 
cheating. But does cheating it's... count as monogamous? Because the other person doesn't know. Like, if one person cheats, technically the other person still thinks they're monogamous. The word monogamous doesn't sound real. Anymore. No, they never did. Burger! Oh, those burgers are so good. Oh! Mm. oh. Dick. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm eating, mm. I become primal Simon. Yeah. Right? That's what they're called. Primal. Mm. Yeah. Next question. I question a lot of the stuff that comes out of your mouth. Most people do. Yeah. <laughs> what was the first holiday you went on together as a couple? Depends. Well, yeah, because we were a couple when we went to Vegas. We didn't go, ah, uh, we did. Mm. See what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, it depends. Yeah. <laughs> but our first holiday, just the two of us, was Paris. Yeah, Vegas was the first one we technically went on as a couple though. Yeah, because we were, we were together when we went to Vegas, but yeah. it was a huge group of us. Like Literally, you're trying to go to a restaurant and it's like, oh yeah, yeah we have a table of 15. No, all yeah, right, we'll go as a six and we'll just get rid of the, the weak links. <laughs> yeah, so Vegas was our technical first time we went away together, but pra Paris the first time we spent time in a different country of just us together. All right, here's a question. This isn't even on there. Would you send your kid to private school or public school? Uh, when I say this, States. Private or non-private? Yeah. Would you pay for their education or? Yeah. You would. Yeah. I think you get much better resources. I went to I, I went to grammar school, not private school, and I hate it. But even at grammar school, there were more. Because um, a public school is actually a private school. Yeah. And a public school should the be state called a state school. school. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Brit, as much as we didn't pay to go to Brit, it was funded by the record industry. So. Damn. Like, if, for instance, if your kid's really into sports and they're like really passionate about it and they want to be a professional athlete, I'd look at a school that has the best sports facilities and that's likely to be a private school. Damn. But if it's not... Damn. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I went private school. Yeah, to be fair, no, we're not sending them to private school. What? <laughs> I didn't even finish my point. <laughs> we went private school and we played our rivals, which was a public school, mm. and we lost at all sports to them. <laughs> fair. We had a terrible school. Our school sucked. If you're listening out there, school, you mm. suck. You liked your teachers, didn't you? I loved my teachers. I find that so odd. Like Liz was like, Liz is one of my favorite people on this entire planet. We called them by our, we called them by their first, first name. name basis, you see That's that? That's normal at colleges. Is it? Yeah, like at Brit, if you were under 16, you had to call them by their surname. I can't believe that you actually called them by their first name. Yeah. What would you do if the other person cheated? I've thought about this before, you know. Would I, no, no, as in, <laughs> not cheating. As in, would I, just cry and leave, I'd 100% leave. But, or would I go like full, like try and burn all your stuff and like wreck, wreck the apartment below? What did you decide? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd just cry and leave. I think I'd just take a really immature route. We should make a video. <laughs> Too bad I probably would. The, bank the likelihood video. is, if you're cheating with someone, the likelihood is they could beat me up. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna turn it into a physical battle. I'm going to use the only thing I can do. The internet. Use my, <laughs> use my internet actually? resources to, fair, I to be you. like, she a hoe. <laughs> so? No, I wouldn't, that'd be mean. Yeah, but cheating's mean, so. True. But, but, Depends but, how you cheated on me. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What is your favorite side men Sunday? Do you have any that you like, really like? I really like the back to school one with Stephen Tries. The non-online one though. Yeah. The online one was a stinker. Yeah, Big stinker. Oh, all your um the ten thousand dollar versus a hundred dollar, those are really funny. Well holidays. Yeah. Mm. Holidays are the best videos. So that one of them is in my top two. Yeah. My Raka Raka video the Raka Raka video we did. Oh yeah, that, that, one. that one's really good. That one and the Europe holiday. Do you know what? The extreme forfeit quiz. I know that that is such a like non-video, but like we bought us some plastic chairs know, and asked Jamie to push us. In I the pool. like those types of videos. Like I, we've got to think my favorite YouTuber ever is Jenna Marbles, the least high production YouTuber. She sits at her. Whoa! No, it's true. Roasted. It's not roast. Oh, no. beef, beef, no. beef, beef. And then she does, She sits there and she doesn't have like. I know what you mean. Fifteen cameramen and like she just sits there because she she's just funny. I don't think she even has a camera, does she? No, she's a Julian, I think. To be the best YouTuber, you shouldn't have a camera. You should just be funny. Sorry. <laughs> see that? No, you just like I just like to see like raw funniness, and that video is literally just you guys like pissing each other off and pushing each other into the pool. <laughs> no, I know my least favorite one. The roast. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like that video was like okay, we need to try and choose something to to focus on. And sadly, you got the. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> yeah. Which is weird because it wasn't even like insulting me half the time. 
No, I know. It was just you. Yeah. Yeah, we should have given we should have given you a percentage of that video. Yeah, wait, well, hold on a minute. Should have, I said. <laughs> Too late now. Damn it. You missed out on your opportunity. Yeah. Is it annoying when people ask you about your personal life? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't want to delve into that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's <laughs> It's not annoying when people ask, it's annoying when people think they're owed an answer. There's a difference. I get that. Because like, if I'm on stream and you ask a question, I could not answer it, fine. So you're more than welcome to ask it. But if I say like, oh, I don't want to talk about that, or it's not, and then you're like, oh, but, but you spoke about this before, so why don't you, it's like, well, I don't want to talk about it now. Shut up. <laughs> I think the worst is just when people assume. Like if you say, oh, I don't want to talk about that, yeah, that they assume the answer. They're like, oh, she doesn't want to talk about it because of this. Yeah, it's so annoying. Yeah. Yeah. It's not great. No. But we had, I had one today in my stream that someone came in and said like, ah, oh, Calix said some of JJ's friends don't believe he'll win against Jake Paul. And I was like, I mean, I don't know who, like, we genuinely all believe that he yeah, would win. And then they were, and then he donated again and said, ah, oh, if you really believe that, you would be pushing for him to fight Jake Paul. And I was like, not really. He still would get hit. Yeah, it's still, Get like, it's hit. still not a nice experience. But my issue is more like, I, I, just, don't think he, I just don't think he needs it. No, and I also don't saying. think Jake Paul, like, it's a weird exposure to give him. Like, JJ's doing his thing right now and he's banging it. JJ does not need to buy Jake Paul for anything. That's what I mean. Unless you're going to give him, like, you know, if JJ gets... Serious money. It would have millions! To be, yeah, like, it would, ha it would have to be disgusting money. So ultimately... <gasps> yeah, it's kind of annoying when people talk about your personal life. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, if you say you're doing something and people are like, oh, how was it, how was it? That's calm, mm -hmm. ask away. But as soon as it's like, oh, I haven't seen you and Simon stream together in three days. Have you broken up? No. I, people <laughs> ask that on my stream yeah. and I'm sat in your I know. apartment. They're like, are you still together? Can you just say yes for a clip? What, yes? Oh, have you broken up? Yeah, I'm just staying here. He moved out. I have said that. <laughs> when? I need this clip. <laughs> I've said that multiple times. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we broke up, it was a really bad argument. He just lets me stay here. I'm not allowed to leave his room. This sounds like a great title. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, if you had to choose hmm. one friend oh, no. each to share a house with, but that means it's me, you, and two others. We have to share oh. a house with them. I'm gonna choose JJ. So that means you have to move a fourth person in. Who do you want to be that fourth person to move in? I'm stuffed, by the way. Can I just move Jada's girlfriend? I'm not gonna say her name, obviously for privacy reasons, but can I move her in and then it makes sense? Because <laughs> then it's just like two couples, rather than like a couple. No. So, okay, great. For the, for the sake of the question, no. Okay, <laughs> mm, okay I'm not gonna say, <laughs> okay. I'm not uh, gonna say Freya, okay. because obviously she lives with her boyfriend, so I'd have to split them up. Wow, okay. No, because I would have split them up. Okay. G, however, I wouldn't be splitting her up. So, that would work. It could be another guy. Yeah, but what guy would, I pick to move in with us and JJ. Sorry? Toby. Lives on his own. He seems like a neat guy. I'm just being really random. Every. I mean, it's the point say, of the question. I'm right? moving G in. I'm moving All right. G in. All right. Well, create a house coming soon. Yeah. What are your plans post lockdown? Go out to every single restaurant. Yes. Possible. The first week. <laughs> the first week is going to be no home cooked food. Yeah. It's going to be. Going out for lunch. Yeah. Going out for dinner. Yeah. Eat somewhere every day. Mm -hmm. Like that. A rest. Oh. I'm gonna go away and get a tan. Where? Lay in the sun. Where? Maldives. I said LA and everyone had a go at me. Everyone was like, what LA? That's a terrible place to go. And I was like, I've got friends there. Mm, I'm not being funny, but if you've been stuck in the UK without a, a holiday, LA is not the place I'd want to go. I'd want to yeah, go but, somewhere that I could just lie on the beach. See, everyone says this, but this, but is, my, like this is my argument to that. You want to go somewhere that's warm and you could do nothing. Yeah. But in lockdown, you can basically do nothing. Yeah, but I can do nothing, but I can walk around and I can accidentally bump into people and I don't have old ladies being like, stay three feet away from me. Sorry, this was based on a natural experience and I'm still haunted by it. But I'm saying you could go LA, you still get the warmth, yeah. you still get a nice place. Yeah, but yes, it's not, nah, nah, nah. Get a nice house with, you know, a big house with a pool in the hills. And then I mean, you also know people there, true. so you could do stuff. But no, I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to go to the Maldives. That's, that's what I want. And just lay and have- Okay, I take the question back, I take the question back. I thought she was going to say somewhere a lot, a lot cheaper. No, okay. it's me. <laughs> who is the settler? The reacher is the one who is, you know, reaching for this relationship. The settler is the- You're the settler. Aww. I'm the settler. No! <laughs> 
Do you know what? No makeup. Settler. <laughs> makeup. Makeup. Settler. Settler. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've done well. Yeah, I think we're pretty well matched. I don't think we're one of those couples you immediately go. No, yeah. How's, how's he got her? How's she got him? No. For Talia. Oh, no. Did you know how big Simon was on YouTube before y'all met and dated? No. I'd heard of the side men. Sort yeah, of. we global. No, wait. Even though she was in the UK. Oh, wait, sort of, <laughs> because I knew Toby. But when I first like met Toby, I clicked on his channel, saw it was FIFA. His and thing. instantly And I was off. like, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna watch these. So I never actually saw Ugh, that shit was hard. I never actually saw um, I'm, not, I'm not done. Oh sorry. <laughs> I was really misleading. Um yeah, I never saw Sidemen videos, but I had seen a bit of the match. I mean, it was a pretty big deal. God. But because obviously it's like it's Maybe it was my halfway line. It's a no it wasn't. Oh. It was like little, like obviously small people on a small field with not great quality. I didn't really see anyone's faces. I didn't really know who anyone was. Why are you was. watching this game? <laughs> it's football. It's YouTube. As in like, so yeah, it's, but not like, it's not like small people on a, on a really bad quality stream. Well, like. no, but as in it's like, I, I don't get to see all of your faces and like you talk and like, so it, I probably had seen him, but no, I didn't know. And then obviously like. The had day, you heard of KSI? Uh, I'd heard of him, but I didn't know what he looked like. Okay. And then that day, I think, we were talking about the fact, oh, we do YouTube or whatever, and your channel came up. I think you brought it up. I mean, if we were talking, you probably said, oh, like, what are you doing? Yeah, I, said, I, think, I do YouTube, I think this is my up. channel. Yeah, I think we both, are like, we showed each other the It's not. It's not, like, up. a weird thing for no, me to bring up. I didn't just go, like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> my, my YouTube channel is Minimins, by the way. No, no, we were talking about it. I think that's how it came up. I think it was you. So I, I did know then at that point, after we'd had, like, a few hours of conversation. Did you go home and immediately stalk me? No. Damn. I so, no, no, I, I looked you up, but then I was like, what I don't want to do is look you up, find out loads of stuff, and then have nothing to ask you when I next see you, and know too much about you, so then it, because I was like, I don't want to cross creepy. over, yeah. I get like, you. If I just don't know anything, then we can have normal conversations rather than me being like, oh, I know your favorite flavor of ice cream is this. And What like, is it? See, this is a conversation that we can now have. What is it? Go what on. is your chocolate? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. It's actually really boring, but chocolate. That is boring. What's yours like? Fruit. Cookies and cream and what? Fruity Bosco. That ain't that ain't ice cream. It is. It isn't. I bet it's not. I bet it's like gelato. Well, it's Italian. So it's not the ice cream. What is ice cream? It's called ice cream. It's the translation is ice cream. But um, Fruity Bosco means fruits of the forest, I think. Anguria. And I'm the mm. private school one. <laughs> it's Italian, not posh English. Sem I'm the similar. private school one. How was it when you entered the house when JJ is making a video? Mm. What's it like when, when JJ is making a video? Because I've lived with him now for, what, six years? God, he is so loud. Like, is. it is, I've got a clip that I started, <laughs> I started filming the other day on my vlog camera, because I was like, oh, do you know what? I'm just gonna do an intro, and I just go, hey guys, and then I just hear, and I was like, what is going on? He was literally screaming bloody murder. But it's normally um, clubs. We don't do that many clubs. He's just that loud and everything. To be fair. No, but you can, yeah, I can tell though. You can tell I when can it's clubs. I can tell when it's clubs, because you both scream Harry at some point. That's cause he's annoying. <laughs> like you both yell at him. What is one sexual word? that you hate? I mean, daddy, does that count? Yeah. Because oh. it shouldn't be sexual, but it, well, I don't like that. Daddy. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I think mine's naughty. <laughs> if you use naughty. naughty in a sexual way, like, oh, you've been naughty. That's making its way into a, a compilation now, isn't it? Some oh, oh, it's that. actually you made me feel a bit ill. That gives me the ick. Mm. I actually want to know if y'all ever feel like having a baby. Would be a huge shame if y'all didn't. Mm. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, imagine. Mm. Nah, definitely not till marriage. Oh yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'd want to get married first. So that won't be an announcement. We won't be doing one of them like, oh, I just hit top bins to pop a balloon. It's a boy. If we have it, it was an accident. <laughs> like, as in like. Can't say that. Yeah, come. 
Wow. As in, we would not we would never try for a baby before we were married. I, I know that loads of people do, but so, you know, you don't need to expect that anytime soon. What's your opinions, following on, what's your opinions on videos that are like gender reveals, like the, just in terms of, are they kind of cringe? I don't think they're cringe. I don't think I'd do- Like, I what do if it was like a, a themed one? There's the standard one, you know, oh, pop a balloon, it's done. Yeah. That one, calm. I don't like it. Like, because you're I... a singer, okay? So, yeah. let's imagine this. You hit a note that pops a balloon that reveals. Oh, I'm talented. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you hit something, you hit a note that yeah. pops this balloon and everyone's like, oh, it's, no. it's right at the end of the song. Or I hit a crossbar and that pops the balloon and we have a big event. Mm. I don't really like them just because I feel like it puts too much pressure on like, to be excited for a specific gender. Do you know what I mean? As in like, if you- I mean, I know what I want. If you particularly <laughs> wanted a boy, you particularly wanted a girl, a lot of people don't care. Like, I don't, I don't really care. If you wanted one and then you got the other and you then have this whole thing of like- <laughs> yeah, the reaction where the, oh. the guy goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, I don't know. I just think it just puts way too much pressure on. I get that. You That's know? fair. Yeah. I just don't want it. Kick a football at a balloon to find out. Yeah, no. Yeah. no, no. I think just, you know, when you're in the office, do you want to know? Yeah, tell us. <laughs> What's you and you, you'd want to know? Yeah, I'm not doing a stupid, I'm not doing like a, I'm not waiting and then popping a balloon and like, I'm No, but what if you just waited until, what if you just waited until the baby was born? No, why would I do that? Technology's invented for a reason. Just tell me. Damn. Am I wrong? Yeah. You'd want to know. I'd want to know and not you not to know. What? So I could literally just make jokes. Yeah, but I'm, I'd be the one making it. I'm cooking it. You don't cook babies, Talia. <laughs> I'm <in> the oven. <laughs> it's a foot. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm stuffed. Yeah. I'm stuffed. The ice cream is probably melted by now. Yeah, it's definitely sad ice cream. Yeah. yeah, that's it for today. As always, check out Talia in the description down below. Go sub over there. Hi. What are you on now? Main channel. Don't know. 800 and something. I want you to beat Randolph to a million subs. He's on like 900 or something, and I don't, don't post. Don't, 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 don't worry. <laughs> don't, I don't post. Don't worry, don't worry. It's Randolph, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, I love Randolph. Go sub to Talia in the description down below. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time, hopefully soon, for a main channel video. Why did you turn to Harry there? Peace. <laughs>